the last lecture, we have discussed about the linearized model of the longitudinal motion of the aircraft. And in today's lecture, we'll be discussing how we can come up with the linearized model of the lateral and direction, directional equation of motion of the aircraft. So this is lecture number 41. Um, let us rewrite the equation of motion of, of lateral and directional equation. Equation of motion of lateral directional motion of the aircraft let us re rewrite the equation of motion in this lateral directional motion y plus mg cos theta sin phi m into v dot plus r u minus e w this is the force along y direction and moment in x axis so in the lateral directional motion we have to consider the force along y direction moment along x axis and moment along z axis so moment along x axis we can write p dot i x minus r dot i x c plus q r into i z minus i y in minus i x c p q and moment along z direction n equal to so moment if you apply the moment along z direction we can control the your angle and if you con apply the moment along x axis then we can control the roll angle so moment along uh, z axis we can write minus p dot i x c plus r dot i z plus p q i y minus i x i x d q r this is the equation of motion let me define this equation number one equation nonlinear equation you can write nonlinear equation and our main motivation is how we can come up with the linear form of this nonlinear equations before we proceed first we have to consider the linearized model not linearized mod model the trim flight or the steady level flight for the lateral direction motion of the aircraft so we can write the steady state trim flight for lateral directional equation at uh, we already have discussed the trim values for the lateral directional motion or for the values of p0 q0 r0 equal to 0 and phi 0 equal to 0 for these conditions the steady state flight equation for the lateral direction equation you can write y not equal to a v not dot and l not equal to 0 and n not equal to 0 so this is the trim flight how these equations are coming that is very clear if you consider this uh, trim values the above equation equation number one so we'll get this trim equation or the steady level flight of the direction uh, lateral directional motion of the aircraft trim flight for lateral directional motion of aircraft and let us define this equation number two and now we'll apply the perturbation to the different equations 
in equation number one and we'll come up the linear model of the uh, individual equation force equation moment equation now let's start with the uh, first the force equation along y-axis so let us write let's start with the let's start with force equation in y direction let us rewrite the force equation in y direction y plus mz cos theta sin phi equal to m into v dot plus r u minus p w now we will include the perturbation for this system so we can write the variable in this equation if you consider there is two component in each variable one is the reference value another is the part of variable so if you consider uh, the part of lessons the part of lessons if you apply we can write y equal to we can write y naught plus delta y uh, theta equal to theta naught plus delta theta phi equal to phi naught plus delta phi and v naught v naught plus delta v and r equal to r naught plus delta r and u equal to u naught plus delta u p equal to p naught plus delta p and w equal to w naught plus delta w including i mean if we apply this uh, part of some variable to the equation number this equation number three equation three we can write including the part of essence to equation three years we can write y naught plus uh, delta y plus mz cos theta naught plus delta theta sine phi naught plus delta phi equal to m into del z d d t v naught plus delta v plus r naught plus delta r u naught plus delta u p naught plus delta p into w naught plus delta w so this is equation number four we'll solve this part so we need to for let's solve this part and how we can find the linear model of this part then we'll do the rest of the terms so let's start with the let me define this is the term a i mean solving the term a we get cos theta naught let's start with first cos theta naught plus delta theta delta theta we can write uh, cos theta naught cos delta theta minus sine theta naught sine and delta theta and for the small angular displacement if you did notice if you consider for small part of the sun of or we can add for the small value of for small perturbation of delta theta we can write cos delta theta 
equivalent to one for the small value of delta theta and sine delta theta equivalent we can write delta theta so introducing this variable in equation phi we can write cos theta naught plus delta theta we can write cos theta naught minus delta theta sine theta naught now we can do the same thing for the sine phi naught plus delta phi so we can write and let me expand the term sine sine phi naught plus delta phi you can write sine phi naught cos delta phi plus cos phi naught plus sine delta phi and if you the apply the same small value of delta phi we can expand this expression we can come up the some value for this sine phi naught plus delta phi we can write using the small small value of value of delta phi we can write shine phi naught plus delta phi we can write so equivalent to sine phi naught plus cos phi naught delta phi if you incorporate this expression value of cos theta naught plus delta theta and sine phi naught plus delta phi in equation number four we can come up not equation number four, oh yeah equation number four for the term a if you now so now we can write the term a which is nothing but cos theta naught plus delta theta sine phi naught plus delta phi can be expressed as cos theta naught plus delta theta sine phi naught plus delta phi if you multiply both this expression we can come up the value of this cos theta naught sine phi naught plus delta phi cos theta naught cos phi naught minus delta theta sine theta sine phi naught minus delta theta delta phi delta phi and sine theta naught cos phi naught uh, so these are the value for term a again we can know that and during the trim flight condition we know that p naught equal to q naught equal to r naught equal to v naught and phi naught equal to l naught and n naught equal to zero for the team condition these are the reference value of these parameters or these variables should be zero and we can neglect and also neglecting neglecting uh, the products of products of
small disturbance small disturbed we can write small disturbed variables which are basically delta theta and delta phi so if you ignore these terms and also if you assume this stream condition so equation let me define this equation number six if you define this equation number equation six equation six can be written as can be written as cos theta naught plus delta theta sine phi naught plus delta phi equivalent to delta phi cos theta naught. Uh, so this is the this is very nice form of term A in equation four. We also have to assume the trim values of the force equation in longitudinal motion, which is this equation. Now, if you here, if I if I consider the trim values of the or trim condition for the force equation in y direction and if you consider the term a which is given by this expression equation 7 so you can write using the trim flight trim flight conditions which is basically y naught equal to m v naught dot are defined in equation two and using equation seven inequality equation four can be written as equation four Uh, written as um, delta y plus mc delta phi cos theta naught equal to m into delta p dot plus u naught delta r minus y naught w dot into delta p the same uh, concept also we have used in equation 4 we have ignored the multiplication of the part of variables the product of part of variables further we have to consider another condition further if we consider the stability axis We know that W naught equal to zero. Let me define this equation number eight. This part already we have done during the discussion of the uh, longitudinal motion of the aircraft. So for this condition, equation eight can be written as. written as we can write delta y plus mg delta phi cos theta naught equal to 
m into delta v dot plus u naught delta r. Let's define this equation number 9. Now we have to consider how the delta y, the force, the part of force along y axis gets affected and what are the variables involved for generating delta y. Let's look. Let me write some note. Side force y is basically basically a function of v p r phi and delta r so these are the terms or the variables or, or the control are actually affect the side force in the aircraft also we need to denote uh, aileron deflection aileron deflection has very little influence influence on the side force side force hence it can be neglected in equinegrated. So now using the Taylor series expansion, the force, the part of force can be written as delta y, we can write del y, del v, capital delta v plus del y, del p, delta p plus del y del r delta r plus del y del phi capital delta phi plus del y del delta r capital delta r we can write so this is the total side force part of side force generated due to the effect of different variables in this equation and let's define this equation by equation 10 and if you substitute equation 10 in our force equation part of force equation in 9 the equation of motion in y direction we can write substituting the equation 10 in equation 9 in place of delta y you can write delta v dot equal to you can write 1 upon m delta y delta v capital delta V plus del Y del P capital delta P plus del Y del R delta R plus del Y del P delta P plus del Y del delta R capital delta equal delta R plus g delta p cos theta naught delta tau we missed so this is the expression we are getting for the rate of change of the part of velocity along y direction and this expression can be further simplified as y v delta v plus y p capital delta P plus Y R delta R the same way what you have done for the long term motion of the aircraft in the linear form the same thing we are doing here also Y phi delta phi 
plus y delta r capital delta r plus g del phi uh, cos theta naught minus u naught delta r so this is what you are getting so where um, where y v equal to 1 upon m del y delta v and so on are the aerodynamic uh, derivatives divided by airplanes mass this equation equation let me define this equation number 11 so 11 can be further simplified simplified has until p dot equal to yv yv delta v plus yp delta p plus yr u naught delta r plus y phi plus z cos theta naught delta phi plus y delta r capital delta r and again you can simplify as d dt minus y v into delta v minus y p delta p minus y r u naught delta r minus y p plus g cos theta naught delta phi equal to y delta r capital delta r so this is the linear form of the force equation along y axis if you notice this equation are linear because the coefficient of the all the terms are scalar component or we can not time varying or we can say the time invariant and uh, this system also we can set linear time invariant system because all the coefficient coefficient of the equation are linear time invariant if you notice this equation it will be very clear because this terms this term this term this term and this term are basically we generally get from the wind tunnel testing for the given flight conditions and now uh, let's stop it here we'll continue from the next lecture in the how we can come the linear form of the moment equation along x and z axis then we'll finally come up the state space model of the lateral dilation motion of the aircraft then we can move to the control thank you